Hey folks, I'm Priya Rao with the First Weekend Club and I am getting cozy with one of this year's rising stars at TIFF 16, Jared Abramson. Welcome. How you guys doing? We're doing okay. Your voice is um, getting that sexy tone. <laughs> it's a uh, constant interview, 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 running around, running around, lack of sleep. I wish I could say it was from the partying and the events, but unfortunately I haven't been able to make it to too many of those. So. Oh, that does not sound like a working man. I'm a working man. It's all business. All this is business. serious business. Yeah, we're hustling out here. Yeah. <laughs> and this movie here, Hello Destroyer, is very serious business. Yes, yeah. yes. Heavy it's, film. It's a heavy film. It's a look at our national sport in a, a very different look at this mm. sport. You play uh, an enforcer. Yeah, I play a young goon named Tyson Burr who's brought onto the team to fight and uh, just be a wrecking man, you know? Yeah. Do you really think he's a goon, though? No, I think he's a good guy who wants to play hockey, and it's a way for him to get out of his situation. Like, you'll see his relationship with his father later on in the film. But um, sometimes, like most goons, all they want to do is play hockey, but maybe because certain lack of skill or size, they get pushed into position of being a fighter or being a wrecking man, you know? Yeah. Like I said. Yeah, and it's a tough uh, it's a tough position on the ice, yep. but it's also a very very raw and emotional performance you gave. Yeah. Yeah, and um, I want to ask because this character is so alone for mm -hmm. so much of the film. I mean, on the ice, even when he's surrounded by people at parties, and then when he ultimately is alone, he is so very alone for mm -hmm. most of the film. What was it like to play that? Like, how do you leave that on set? Um, like I, I have a lot of friends, and uh, I'm a social guy, but I am. I do like my privacy my friends know that too like I'm the guy that can Irish exit a party you know what I mean without saying goodbye um, I'll if I'm around people for too many days I like to just get away for a day or two on my own just spend time just to think and be with myself and so I can relate to that in a sense and the other thing is growing up I came from a very small town in Manitoba Flint Flon and it's a hockey town all my friends played hockey growing up I didn't play hockey, so on weekends and that when they would go on trips and hockey trips, I'd spend a lot of time just by myself. So I get that side too, you know. Yeah. So you didn't play hockey growing up? I didn't. No. Um, I did hockey D as a kid, and all I wanted to do was fight. So my old man took me out. He's like, "This kid, this guy in uh, taekwondo." <laughs> and uh, I studied taekwondo. Did you really? Yeah. I did like two years, and then a little bit of wrestling, and then more as I got older boxing with my friends and then eventually we turned uh, my buddy's garage into a gym and started doing amateur MMA eventually moved to Vancouver did pro MMA fighting really? a couple kickboxing yeah so I I have a background in athleticism too definitely okay so because there are a lot of training scenes in this movie yeah. and and you have obviously had to be in really tip-top shape yeah. and I was wondering if you had to get into shape for the movie it seems like you were already in shape it's something I maintain I mean I, I did try to put on a little bit more size for this film because I wanted to be have that physical presence and yeah. amongst my team too. I, right? I do that too myself. Yeah, I can yeah. tell. Yeah, you're yeah. big deadlifts, right? No. Yeah, I can see it. And uh, oh, they're shooting out there. That goes for me. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, I did. I, I tried to put on a little bit of weight. I was lifting heavy weights. I was eating lots and uh, just tried to pack on some muscle for it. But exercise now is something I try and keep up all the time. Like I train MMA four to five times a week when I'm not shooting or working. We're going to have to talk about uh, some of the fighters that we like after after this. Oh, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah, We could talk for hours about hours. MMA. I, Maybe when your voice gets a little Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Hello, Destroyer. When it gets out in theaters, you guys got to see it because it is a real, real yeah, gem. Yeah, and it, I mean, it's, a, it's not only a look at hockey, it's also a look at rural Canada and uh, the north. And Kevin sneaks in a lot of medicine into his food. There's a lot of metaphors that have to do with colonization of Canada and uh, First Nations and violence and amongst this whole country you know uh, we're touching a lot of different subjects and hopefully you guys pick up on them all yeah he's a, he's got a very subtle hand that that little Kevin Fox. yeah man he's a genius he really is like watch him this is just the beginning he's just getting warmed up I swear to God that he's gonna be one of the greats are you his agent now <laughs> I'm his promoter it's a fight <laughs> business coming out in me there you go <laughs> thanks a lot Jared all right thank you guys